My name is David, and this is Iander Sebro Paracord Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the Flying Meatball Paracord Bracelet. What you'll need for this is two, set, two pieces of cord, about anywhere between n 9 feet to 10 feet, Basically what you want to do is measure out nine feet of your two cord, uh, ten feet of your two cords, and then cut those in half. Then you want to take the, the, other, the other cord and do the same thing. And then what you want to do after that is you want to go ahead and fuse the cords together and basically start by making a four strand core. I did the over under loop method. I feel that it's a uh, better dis uh, better starting F instead of the cow hitch. It gives you enough slack to add more cord in if you need to. Then you go up top and you run them through the buckle and then loop them over, making sure your center cords, as you can see here, come up between cords one and two and three and four. All right, let's get started. First, what you want to do is, uh, as I always do, I start from the right. You want to take your right cord, bring it over, and uh, take your first strand down through the center between cords two and three, and then right back up between cords one and two, making a loop in the, uh, the weave. and you want to make sure you hold that off to the side and next you want to take your second cord the one from the left and you want to come up underneath the loop that you just created and you want to do the same thing on the opposite side you want to bring your cord down between cords three and four two and three and right back up between cords uh, three and four. Making sure that you're doing the same thing, like a pretzel, as you can see here. Next, you wanna take your center cord, uh, I'm starting with my right, and you wanna bring that down below the, the pattern that you just made, and go down between cords two and three. <laughs> up again through between chords three and four and then right back down over the um, the pretzel that was made and come out making like a reverse J and you want to do the same thing for the other side down through the middle between chords two and three and up again between chords one and two. And then right down through the bottom loop of the pretzel. I will continue to call it that for the time being as it's an easier way to explain it. Then what you wanna do is pull all your slack out, tighten up the, uh, the starting cord and then closing up the central cord. This will give you the starting pattern for the next one. It's gonna alternate between the center colors and the outside colors. All right, let's do the next one. After that, I will end this video and uh, finish it off over on Instagram. Okay, let's do this. Same thing again. Bring your cords over. You want to go down with your right cord through between cords one and two. I'm sorry, I apologize. Between cords two and three, and right back up between cords one and two just an easy in and out creating like the letter E 
in your design. And then the same thing. Always make sure you come up on the left side with the left cord through the loop. I did test this and uh, I wasn't doing that before. So it didn't really look too well so I modified it a little bit and that's the idea that I came out with. And then do the same thing. This will constantly repeat itself like this, switching from the inner cords and the outer cords. As you've seen on my picture I posted yesterday on Instagram. You can also follow me there at cord underscore 550 underscore Dave. I can't really spend too much longer on this design as I am at work and I can potentially have a customer come in any moment. And there you go. As you can see, it started off with the uh, glow in the dark and then it switched over to the watermelon. Alright, I'm going to end this video there. My name is David, this is Ianda Sebro Paracord Design, thank you and have a nice day.